as a pediatrician, I believe that when children are brave enough to disclose their victimization or suspected, they deserve knowledgeable and skilled professionals, regardless of discipline, to be able to intervene. Because without substantiation, there is not an opportunity for protection and also then, of course, treatment. And medicine has a really important role in evaluating the issue of child sexual abuse. Although we can define sexual abuse of children in, in various ways, um, you know, the, the, the sexual touching and harm of children without their informed consent, for instance, mm -hmm. um, those sort of definitions don't seem to me to be adequate these days because children are being sexually abused in a variety of other ways, mm -hmm. often through the use of technology uh, and often in quite complicated ways. What is there in the raising of our boy children? What is there in the transition to manhood that makes them vulnerable to abusing children sexually? The core is speaking about the unspeakable. And therapists and workers, uh, you don't have to have a very high level of skill to talk to a child, to learn how to talk to a child, to enable them to speak about their experiences, to expose it, to speak about the unspeakable. And that's the cure. That working together collaboratively means you get the best possible outcomes for the child. And that, in a sense, is what we're always focused on, is making sure that we are are helping the child, making the child's life better.